If you're still making your Excel calculated columns like this and dragging them down, if you're still designing your tables like this, and if you're still summing up your data like this, then you gotta start using Excel tables. To make an Excel table, just click within your data set, press Ctrl and T and press OK, or another option is to go up, press insert and insert a table. And this opens up a world of opportunities to you. The first being styling. So there is a new ribbon item called table design once you highlight your table and you can style your table in many predefined styles. You can create your own style. I'm just gonna go with a blue here. Then the ribbon has a lot of different styling options in tick boxes. So you can pick banded rows, highlight the first and last column, turn your header row on and off and turn your filter on and off. But the most useful thing in here is the totals row. So I can highlight the totals row and this will give me a total underneath. And what I can do is I can pick any aggregation for this total. So I'm picking an average here, in cost I'm picking a sum, and I'm gonna pick an average again in sales. And when I filter through the data set, that sum and aggregation will change with the filter. So I can just keep filtering through this and you'll see that my sales cost and rating aggregation or sum just keeps changing along with my table. Table names are really important, so I'm gonna change my table name here to sales, and that comes into effect when I'm doing any calculations. So I'm gonna make a new header here, and this is now within the table, and you'll see I can just take one item from another item, and this will give me a reference to that column, and it will continue down the table. So once you do one sum, it continues down the whole table. When I'm referencing this table in a function, I just call it sales square bracket column, and then I don't have to mess around with any individual referencing. Another really good functionality of tables is the ability to use slicers. So I'm gonna select three slicers here, and these are just visual filters, but they open up a whole new arena of user interaction with the table. So I can just pick multiple attributes in here, pick multiple slicers. If you press control and hold control, you can pick multiple attributes at once. And there's a lot of different interactivity you can do with slicers. Really useful other functionalities, you can export the table to a SharePoint list. You can summarize to a pivot table with one click. And then my favorite, you can go to data, you can go to from table range, and then you can use Power Query to automate your data cleaning and your data processes and join with other data. If you found this video useful, please subscribe to the channel and like the video, and I'll see you very soon for another Excel tutorial.